Oh my God. Hey, hello everybody. How are we doing today? How are we doing great? I was how was your week? I was good. Oh sorry, I'm slightly um off balance. <laughs> Father, in the precious name of Jesus, I worship you, I exalt you, and I give you praise, oh God. I magnify your name for who you are, Jehovah. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega, you are the beginning, you are the end, you are our Father, you are the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Father, I give you praise because you are worthy. Have mercy upon me, O God, in whichever way I have sinned against you, God, in whichever way I have gone contrary to your will, God. Father, have mercy upon me, O God. Forgive me my trespasses, O God. Have mercy upon me, O God. Have mercy mercy upon your people, O God, in the most precious name of your son, Yeshua. Oh, Lord, almighty King of glory, we are gathered here once again to do your business, Father. It's all about you, God. It is what you want that matters. It is how you want it that matters. It is all about you, King of glory. Thank you, Abba, Father, for finding us worthy, O God, to do your business, God. It is a privilege. And Father, we don't take it lightly, God. I just say thank you, King of glory for your love, for your mercy, for your protection, for your kindness, God, towards us, for your compassion, God, towards us. I can go on and go on and go on, Lord. It's all about you, Father. I love you, Father. With everything that makes me me, Jehovah, I have come to you just the way that I am, oh God. Search me through and through, oh God. If you find any iniquity in me, oh God, have mercy upon me. Father, have mercy upon me. Search the deep heart of me, oh God. And teach me, God, how to forgive, how to love like you, oh God. Wherever I've gotten it wrong with you, God, have mercy. Have mercy, Father. Use me as you please, oh God. Holy Spirit, come take prayer in us. Come take control of today's meeting. May I not say what I haven't been asked to say. And may I not do what I haven't been asked to do. Help me. Let me give you word the way that it was given to me. Let me intercede for the people with all of my heart, God. Help me to do it with all of my being, God. Help me to do it because I want to do it, God. Because it's only by your grace, Father, that I'm still standing here. It's only by your grace, Father, that I can still come out here to say this is what the Lord is saying. It is only by your grace, God, that I can still come out here and intercede for your people. Help me, Father. I give myself away, King of glory. Here I am. Use me, God. Use me as you see me. I give myself away, God. All of me, Jehovah. All of me. As I give for your word, oh God, may it accomplish that which you want it to accomplish, Father. As I give for your word, oh God, may they not hear my voice, but may they hear your voice calling on to them, oh God. Have your way, oh God. I mean, all the glory and honor be ascribed unto you. Because, Lord, it belongs to you, O oh God, and you and you alone, King of glory. My beautiful King. He who loves me even when I don't love myself. He who has stood in the midst of all my struggles. And I just want to bless your name. 
Father, let my worship come unto you as a sweet smelling sound. Let my thanksgiving come unto you as a sweet smelling sound. Because I give you from a pure heart. I love you, blessed Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Oh, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, oh God. In the morning, in the noonday, even at night, at any time of the day, Father, you are worthy to be praised. Because you are a big God. Because you are a powerful God. Because you are a generous Father. Because you are a loving God. Because you are a faithful God. Who is like unto thee, O oh my King? Who is like unto thee? In heaven, on earth, and underneath the earth. Father, there is none like you. And there would never be any like you. Why? Because you are the almighty God. The one and only true God of Israel. You change it now. You are the same yesterday. You're still the same today. And you will remain the same forever. You will, God. Nothing can change it. Because you are a constant God. You are a covenant keeping God. I just want to bless you, God. Bless your holy name. Hallowed be your name, God. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take it all because it belongs to you, Father. I love you, Father. Have your way, O oh God. In the most precious, most powerful name of your son, Yeshua. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, people. Sorry. Um, thank you so much for joining us in for interceding for the people of God. It's not easy to take out time to intercede the divine will of God. In this world where everybody is busy, everybody is, is no, everybody doesn't have time for things. People are busy hustling here and there. For you to take out time, no matter how small it is, no matter how short the time is, to intercede the divine will of God, it is not an easy thing. So I applaud you all. And I'm sticking this job. And I'm sticking this, this work that God has given to you. This job that God has assigned to you. Seriously. That has not allowed the cares of this world to say, God, I am tired. I can't do this anymore. That even though it doesn't seem like there is anything coming out of what you're doing that the Lord has asked you to do, you're still pressing on. You're still doing it because you know that you have the Lord and you know that the Lord is asking you to do this and you don't want to be disobedient. I applaud you. Keep doing it. Never give up. Because our God is faithful. He's a faithful God. Whether you see it or not, God is faithful. You cannot go into business with God and fail or lose. No. Every business you strike with God, you must make profit. Profit even more than what you expected. That's how good our God is. That you cannot go to God and live empty handed. More especially when you're obedient to this God. You can never live empty handed. It's not possible. It's not a God that I've come to know. Our God is a rewarder. But you know what, though? Whether he rewards us or not, it doesn't matter. Why? 
because this is what we're called to do. This is what we're born to do. To do the divine will of God. So I encourage my brothers and my sisters to continue and not be faint. I know sometimes you get weary, but trust God the little way that you can. Last week I told us that the Holy Spirit made me to understand that that tiny thing, that tiny faith in you, that's all that God needs. That's it. That faith as small as mustard seed in God, that you have in God, that's all that it needs. So don't give up. Don't lose hope. Stand firm for what you believe in. Because that thing that you believe in is what will save you. That thing that you believe in is what will deliver you. That thing that you believe in is what will turn it around for your good. Okay? So people, not to take much of your time, okay? Um, today, we're going to be talking about take up your cross and follow me. Take up your cross and follow me. That's the topic for today. And um, I got this one like um, a couple of days ago. Um, I think maybe on Thursday or oh, Wednesday, I thought I got offline. And the Holy Spirit started ministering to me. So today we're going to be looking at Matthew 20, 21 to 23 and John 14, 2. Okay? Those are our scriptures for today. Twenty one says, and he said unto her, What will thou? She said unto him, Grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on the right hand and the other on the left in thy kingdom. Now, 22 is where we're really focusing on, and that's where the Holy Spirit um, um got my attention, uh, took my attention to. But Jesus answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of and to be baptized with the baptism, baptism that I am baptized with? They say unto him, we are able. And 23 says, I, and he, he said unto them, ye shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. Yeah. And then John, that was the King James Version, okay? And then John, um, John 14, 2. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. This was Jesus uh, telling his disciples. And so the Holy Spirit took me to this um, to these um, verses, and He made me to understand this. He said, "As Christians, if we really want to follow Him." We must go through the phase of taking up our cross. We must go through the phase of taking up our cross and drinking and partake of the cup. As Christians, the Holy Spirit made me to understand that if we must follow him, we must be able to drink of the cup. 
that he drank of. That's, that's what we really want to focus on, the cup that Jesus drank of. That if one will follow him, we must take off our cross and drink of the cup that he drank of. As Christians, you must go through the phase of rejection. Rejection from people. You know, and the Holy Spirit, you know, uh, made me to uh, understand that, you know, it just, I just, it just, um, it made me to understand that it told me to imagine rather, I think that's the word to use. When Jesus was walking and he was carrying his cross and people were out there on the street, they spat at him, they threw stuff at him, they beat him, you know, they were laughing at him. They were mocking him. All sorts of things. How, the Holy Spirit asked me, how do you think Jesus felt? You know, and that's something that I have never thought about before. He said, how do you think Jesus felt when these things were happening on his way to the cross? And the Holy Spirit made me to understand Jesus felt rejected. Rejection was what he felt. These are people that he has come to save. These are people that he loves. These are people that he wants to show the right way. These are people that he wants to show the way to the Father. These are his own people at that. But these same people rejected him. They mocked him. There was nothing they didn't do. And it just made me to understand. He said, as a Christian, you must take up your cross and drink of, a drink of the cup that Jesus drank of. And that phase is a phase of rejection. People will reject you. You must know what it means to be rejected. You know, and a lot of us, when we get to that phase, we tend to give up. We tend to turn back. We tend to say, oh, when I wasn't, when I wasn't following the Lord and I was doing stuff that I was doing, I never felt so much rejection. I never felt this. I never felt that. I never felt that. But they have got to reject you because that was what Jesus felt. And so you have to drink of the cup. And that, 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 that the, 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 uh, the liquid in the cup was bitter. You have to drink out of it, you know. He said, the people or person that means the most to you, are the ones that will reject you. You know, if somebody that you don't really know, excuse me, rejects you, you don't really feel any type of way. Yes, you might not like it, but you know, it doesn't really bother you that much. But when people that are close to you, people that you think that should know you, people that you think that you are all on the same page, people that you think are, are off, are that, people that you think that are fighting the same cause as you are, when those people reject you, you feel the pain. Why? Because you, you looked at these people or you carry these people a certain type of way. You be, why? Because you believed in these people. So those are the kind of people that will reject you. You know? And let me say that that is so you can share the pain of the walk to the cross. So you can share the pain of the walk to the cross. We have to be partakers. It is through this process, you get to know the Father for who he really is. And that's what the Holy Spirit made me to understand. He said, do not despise this process because this is a process that you must go through. 
And it is through this process you get to know God for who God really is. Not for who, for, not, uh, for who you think he is or who people have taught you, who, uh, for whom people have taught you that he is or, or there. But for who, for, uh, for who he really is, that's why you get to know him for who he really is by yourself through this process. You know, he said that is when you are supping with the Father. Oh Jesus! He said that is when you are supping with the Father. And a lot of us don't understand what it means to sup with the Lord. So when we are when we are at the table, we tend to give up. And so exactly, and that's what the Holy Spirit made me to understand. He said when you're going through this process, that is when you get to know who God is. And so that process is when you are on the table supping with the Lord. You know? So when you are at that table, we some of us tend to give up because it is not easy to sup with him. And that's what the Holy Spirit made me to understand. Because he will try you so you can see yourself for who you really are. It's so easy to suck with the Lord because there are things that you begin to see that the Lord will make you see that you cannot even imagine as a person in your wildest dream about these things. You begin to see you for who you really are when you're supping with the Lord. You begin to see you for who you really are. And then you begin to understand certain things that you never understood. Because like I tell us, I said the Lord already knows, but he needs you to know you. The Lord already knows that he can trust you, but he needs you to know that God can trust you. You know? So the Holy Spirit made me to understand that that is when you were supping with the Father in that process. You know, he said, but when you really, when you swear you don't give up and really sit on that table with the Father and sup with him and partake of that cup and drink of that cup, you are refined enough to stand boldly and declare his words. So when you see yourself going through the fire, that is just the invitation to suck with the Lord. So the question is, are you willing to sit at the table till the end of the meal or not? Are you willing to sit at the table to the end of the meal or not? Or are you going to leave halfway through the meal? Or are you going to leave just when the meal is about to stop? Or are you going to leave when the meal is almost ended? Or you will sit and say, I must finish this meal with the Lord. That is the question to us all, including myself. Are you going to sit at the table till the end of that meal or not? That is the question. So when you suck with him, you then become a part of him. When you're able to sit on that table till the end, when you're able to sit at that table rather till the end, you become a part of him. And that's what the Holy Spirit made me to understand. When you suck with him till the end, you then become a part of him. That process is when you are learning about him. When he's directing you. When he's taking things off of you and adding to you. This is a very crucial time in the life of the believer. That's what the Holy Spirit made me to understand. And if you ain't careful, you will fail. It is just like joining the military. When you join the military and they take you through this um, vigorous training, some people don't, 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 um, don't, and don't, some people don't stay till the end. Some actually leave. Some are filled out. Some people even die. 
But those that said, no, I must, I must, I must go through this training till the end. And despite how hard the training is, but students said, no, this is what I want. I must go through this training till the end. When they finally finish the boot camp, they become an officer. You know. And so the Holy Spirit made me to understand that when you do that, you come out refined. Much better you went in. You're a totally different person. You begin to see things differently. You begin to see things like the Father. You begin to understand what it means to love the Father. You begin to understand what it means to love like the Father which we as individuals cannot do because it's hard to love like God. But God is going to teach you how to love in the midst, in, in, uh, God is going to teach you how to love in that process. That's what we talk about, the agape love. When you, begin to, when you begin to overlook certain things, certain faults in people, you know, you come out refined much better than you went in. But a lot of us reject this invitation because we're not willing to give our all. We still want to enjoy dining out. Meaning, we want to dine with a low one and still dine out as well. Dine with other beings, dine with other stuff. Meaning, you don't want to be fully committed. You want to have one leg here and one leg there. A lot of us are not willing to give our all. And that's the mistake that most of us make. And this Spirit made me to understand that after you have dined with him, he then takes you to the place he has prepared for you. The place in his father's house. He said he's going to prepare a place. That place is not for everybody. That place is for those that have dined with the Lord. That place is for those that have drank of the cup. That place is for those that have supped with the Lord. It's not just for anybody. So what qualifies you for a room in the mansion is your dining within. Is your supping within. And that's what the Holy Spirit made me to understand. He said, that's what qualifies you. So many times people read that, um, that scripture and say, oh, in my father's house, there are many mansions there. Oh, and, and Jesus has gone there to prepare and uh, to prepare um, a place for us and all that and all that. But what qualifies you to a room or what qualifies you to a mansion in his father's house Is your supping with him till the end? Is your dining with him till the end? Is partaking of the cup? You know. So I want us all to. I've just prayed that this word, this um, words that I have spoken, will make sense to us. Will make a meaning to us. And the Holy Spirit will convey our hearts so we can all understand that we need to sup and partake. We need to sup with the Lord and partake of the cup till the end and not give up. So I'm here to encourage us that yes, it is not pretty. That yes, it is not pretty. Because when you begin to see yourself for who you really are, when the Lord begins to show you that, my child, this is who you are. This is who you have turned out to be. But this is not who I want you to be. This is not my original plan for you. But this is who you have turned out to be. When the Lord begins to show you you, huh, it's not pretty. Because you don't even know that that is who you are. Or that is who you have turned out to be. But life has made a lot of us turn out to be differently from what God has, what God has, uh, what God has created us to be. We have taken out different clothes and, 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 and worn different clothes upon our bodies. So the Lord will have to take out all these things. And when the Lord is taking out all these things, 
It's showing you who you are. It's showing you the baggage that you have carried along the line that ordinarily you don't even need to carry. And it's also showing you at the same time that this is what I have prepared for you. This is where I am taking you to. This is what I have called you to be. This is what this is who you are supposed to be. So you have a glimpse of who you are supposed to be. But for you to become that person that God has created you to be, God will have to make sure that you shade up the old you, the you that you have created by yourself, the you that the world has created you to be, the you that circumstances have created you to be, the you that you have become. And a lot of us don't like to see us for who we really are. And you know, I, you know um, for myself, I saw me for who I was and I didn't like me. Even though before I started this work with God, there were times when I, you know, I just got tired. I was like, God, man, I, I should be doing this. You know, like for my friends, I'm like, man, I have this really good friend. Um, her name is Anna. And they were like, we basically just talk about everything, right? When I was back home. So I was like, man, she's like, man, you need to stop this or this is not nice or this. And you know, I'm like, oh, please. And then it got to a point I was like, man, I'm just tired of this, you know, because I wanted to pay people back for something that somebody did to me. And so in order for me not to find myself in that position anymore, I already created so many walls around me, so many barriers around me. So it takes a lot for you to break those barriers and get to me. If you're able to break the first one, you can't get to the second one. I, I, built, I built myself so hard that I don't feel anything. Because there was a time I felt so much pain. And I knew what pain was. And I didn't like it. And truth be told, that was a time the Lord wanted to process me. I already started the process. But the enemy came and deceived me. So I went off the wagon. And so when I went off the wagon, I became a completely different person. I became even worse than who I was before. Why? Because I never wanted to find myself in that situation. So I built these unnecessary walls and barriers around me so nobody can come to me and get to know the real me because naturally I'm a very, very, what's the word to use? I'm like my father. You know, my heart is really tender, you know. And I got to understand that people like to take advantage of people like that. I'm not trying to sing my praise, but that's who I am. I, can, I, 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 I like to help. I like to, I like to reach out to people. It's just who I am. And along the line, I got to understand that a lot of people tend to take advantage of the fact that she's like this. And so... You look at them and you understand, and they don't understand that you actually know that that's what they are doing. But because of who I am, I tend to just, you know, keep doing it because I like, man, I think this person needs, let me just do it. Or, you know, let me just, whatever it is. So along the line, I realized that being that kind at it, you know, wasn't good anymore. So I became really hard. It was hard to please me. And the funny thing though, when, when, when I was there, you know, when I refused to do something or when I do the things that I ordinarily wouldn't want to do, you know, I feel really terrible. I feel really bad. Even before somebody comes to me to say, oh, this thing you did is not nice. I've, I've already, my conscience has finished me. But you know, I'll just, I, I try to become, I try to just mask it and become really hard, really hard in the sense that you can't come close to me. You can't come close to me as you, I can't, I won't give you that access for you to get to me, to me where you can do something to hurt me. No, I would never give you that access. So before I even sense it, I'm gone. Before you even think about it, I'm gone. 
I became that kind of person. I became that kind of person that can move on without thinking twice. And I don't even care how you feel. Even though my conscience will let me know that this is wrong, I just like, ah, you know, I became that kind of person. And so, but I never really knew that I was who I've become. But on, but on this work with God, when the Lord started showing me who I've turned out to be, I didn't like the person. I didn't like me. I didn't like me at all. I didn't understand when I became who, I, I, I didn't understand when I became this person that the Lord is showing to me right now. So the Lord made me to understand that when you're, when you're at that table with him, dining or supping with him, that is the time that he's showing you who you are, who you have turned out to be. And at the same time, he's also showing you who you are going to be, who he has created you to be. But for you to become that person, the Lord has to take off all these clothes that you've, you've put on your body, you've put on yourself. Maybe because you don't want to be hot like me. Or for whatever reason it is, we all have different reasons why we wear different clothes. We just keep adding these clothes upon ourselves, thinking that we're protecting ourselves, thinking that we're trying to, you know, guard ourselves. But unknown to us, we're just adding unnecessary garbage upon ourselves. We're carrying loads that ordinarily we shouldn't even carry, unknown to us. Why? Because we're trying to survive. Why? Because your trust is not, your trust is not on God. It's not in God, rather. You're doing things on your own. So you are doing it in a way that you understand it. And so because of you doing these things, you become a completely different person from, from, from who God has created you to be. So for you to become this person that God has shown you that this is who you're supposed to be, or this is who I'm, I'm turning you out to be, or this is who I created you to be, rather, God will have to take off these clothes. You have to take off these clothes from you. That's the, pro that's the time you're seeing you for who you have become. And a lot of us at that point, we don't like the person that we see in the mirror anymore. <laughs> So he said, when you go through this process, you come out better. You come out refined. So before we go into intercession, the question is again, are you willing to sit at the table till the end? Because that is where the work is. That even though you are tired, even though you are weary, even though you don't feel like it. There are days I wake up and I say, God, I don't feel like praying. There are days I wake up and I'm just upset. And I say, God, you're not being fair to me. God, you're not being fair to me. There are days I wake up and I just say, man, God. I'm just doing this because I cannot disobey you. I'm just doing this because, you know, I, I love you. But deep down inside of me, I don't want to do this. But even though I feel the way that I feel, am I going to give up? Am I going to leave the table? No. Why? Because I already made up my mind. I have chosen whom I will serve. So whatever that comes with me, serving whom I've chosen to serve, I've got to stick it up. I've got to stand. Whether I like the way I feel or not, whether I'm saying the things that I expect or not, whether I feel like praying or not, I've got to put more effort to stand. So are you willing to stand? I 
That is the question. Are you willing to stay? So think about it, people. Do you think that God is what? Your pain. Do you think that God is what? Your rejection. Do you think that God is what? Your shame. What I mean in essence is, will you rather be rejected? Will you rather be shamed? Would you rather be in pain to be right with God or to serve God? Will you say, God, I don't care. I would rather serve you even though I'm in pain, even though I'm ashamed. Even though I'm rejected, I will still love you and I will still serve you. Because the truth is that when you take that stand, you will understand that God would never put you to shame. God would never reject you. God would never cause you pain. You know, but the enemy is there to do those things. And so sometimes the Lord allows him to do it just so he can bring you to the place where he wants you to be. You know, so the Lord is saying to us today, take up your cross and follow him. Drink of the cup. Okay. All right, people. That being said, we'll still do what God has called us to do, which, which is to intercede for his people. And you all know that um, right here, we intercede the divine will of God. And that's why we pray in the Holy Spirit. You know, People will say, oh, why do you pray in the Holy Spirit? Nobody understands what you're saying. It's not for you to understand. That's why the devil too doesn't understand it. And that is why the Lord made us to understand that when you pray in the Holy Spirit, you confuse the devil. He doesn't know what you are saying. So I'm not going to pray because I want you to understand what I'm praying. No. I'm praying the divine and perfect will of God. If God wants you to understand what I'm saying, he will give me the words to speak so you will understand it. But if God doesn't give me the words to speak so you will understand it, I will just keep praying what the Lord has asked me to pray. I will just keep praying what the Lord has put in my mouth to pray. So for people, for, for, so for us, and for, you know, for those that's praying the Holy Spirit and people say, oh, why are you praying the Holy Spirit? We don't understand what you say. It doesn't make sense. People need to understand. People need to understand. But say, your work with God is not about people. I'm not yet to please anybody. I am not yet to please anybody. I don't care who you are. The only person I'm yet to please is God. And if God says, my child, this is what I want you to do, that is what I will do. Whether you understand it or not, it's not my concern. My concern is, am I doing what God is saying? If God wants you to understand it, he will put the words in our mouth for us to say it in a language that you will understand. It. But if God doesn't put it in my mouth for me to say it in a way that you will understand it, I will pray the way that God wants me to pray. You know. So don't be ashamed to pray in the Holy Spirit because the devil knows how, how important and how powerful that tool is. So the devil will do anything just so you don't, you don't pray in the Holy Spirit. They can say anything, but that's not your concern. Your concern is what is God saying? Is God happy with what I'm doing? Is it God asked me to do this? That's all that matters. God. Okay. So Father, I just want to exalt you again and give you praise. Because to over you are worthy God. You are a beautiful king. A great and mighty God. The one who sits high and looks low. The one who sits in heaven and uses the earth as his foot too. The almighty God. 
He who speaks and it comes to pass speedily. <laughs> he who speaks and everything obeys. The Alpha, the Omega. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The great I am that I am. Oh, Jehovah, I will worship you for who you are, Father. Holy Spirit, gentle Spirit of God. The hour has come once again. The hour has come once again to go into the camp of the enemy and do that which will be asked to do. As always, go with us and bring us out safely. As we intercede for the people, the divine, as we intercede the divine will of God, intercede on behalf of us as well, Holy Spirit. Gentle Spirit. Oh, yes. Put the words in our mouth to speak. Let us only speak that which the Lord wants us to speak. May we not speak anything contrary. Oh, yes, Father. Mahasula, he amasu. Mahi amasula, he must say he ele. He amasula, he amasu. Help me, Holy Spirit. Mohi esule, he amasula, he amasule, he amasu. He ekazile, he amasula, he. Masehiele umasuhale hi amasule hi amasu amasuhale masuhiele hi amasuhi kasila hi amasuhi kasile hi mahi amasula hi ese hi ala hi amasuhi la hi amasu masule hi masehi la hi amasula mosula hi ele kesuma hamasuhi ele hi amasuha kese masule hi ala hi amasule hi masuha masele hi amasule hi ekesula hi ama masule hi masehi la hi amasuhi maho hasuha ele mohi ekesule hi akasuma hamasuha le hi momosule hi ekasule hi ama hamasuhi lehi mohi ele hi ekesule hi amasu masule hi masu hamasa hi la hi amasu mama su hi ele kese ma hamasu la hi ama mama su le hi ekesule hi masu hi ele mama su ha le hi amasu hi ma masu ha ekesula hi amasu hi ma hamasa la hi amasu hamasu hi ele amasu Mahi amasule hi amasu hamasu hi masu hi ma usu hi le hi amasu la hi ama masu hi amase hi ala hi musu hi ma mo hi ekusule hi amasu la masu hi le i akusule hi ama okezi amase hi le kesuma ha mo hi le kesuma ha masu hi ala hi amasu hi masu la hi amasu hi le le kesuma ha masu hi masu le hi amasu hi ala hi amasu hi ala hi amasu masu le hi amasu hi ama Masuhiele hi amasuha, masula hi masuhi ekasule hi amaha masuhi la hi amasu. Mohiele kese maha masula hi ekasule hi amasuhi maha. Masula hi ekasele hi masuhi la hi amasuhi. Mohasuhi ekasele hi masuhale hi amasu maha masuhi ele kesu maha. Masula kasi hi masuhi ekasele hi ama. Masuha kasala hi masuhi la hi ma. Mamasule kasule hi amasu ha masuhi la hi ekesu. Mos Sele ke suma hi ma se hi la hi ma su hi ma ma su hi e ke sele hi ma so hi a la hi a ma su ma ha ma su ma sele ke su la hi ma se hi la hi mo su la ke se ma ha ma su le ke se ma ha ma su hi a la hi a ke su ma ha ma hi e le ke su ma ha ma se hi le ke su e ma si ke si la hi ke su le hi a ma ma so le ke si ma hi ma so hi la hi a ma ke su la hi a ma mo so le ke se le ke su la hi ma se hi e ke su le hi a la hi a ke su ma ha ma se le ke Se mahama suhi e kesele hiama, mosu kesele kesu mahama se hila hi kesola hiama, mosu le kesila hi ma se hila hiama, mosu la hi e kesule hi ma so hi e le kesele maha, mosu la kesele hi ma so hi la hi ma se, mosu a kesele hi a kesula hi ma so, mo hi e le kesele kesu mahama su la hi e kesele hiama, ma se le kesu mahi ma so hi e le kesele hi ma, mosu la kesila hi ma se hiama su ha le kesele hiama, mosu a kesele
sele ke sula hi ka sula ha ma se ba sule ke sele ke zuma ha ma so hi ele ke se ba mo so ke sile ke sula hi ama se hi ma ba sule ke sele hi ka sule ke sula hi ama se hi la hi ama ba sele ke sule hi ma so hi ele ke se ba ba sule ke sele ke zuma ha ma so hi ke sile ke sule hi ama mo so ka sile hi ke sele hi ma so hi ala ke se ba ha ba sele ke sule hi ama se hi ma so mo ma si hi ke sele hi ama ba sule ke se hi ama so hi le ke oh god my soul praise you father ba se ke sile hi ma so hi ma ha sa ka sula hi ama mo so le ke sele hi a su hi ama so mo se ke zule hi ma se hi ba se hi a ka zule hi ama so hi a ka sele hi ba ma su la ka sila hi ma so hi le ke se ba mo so ke sile ke sule hi ma se hi la hi ama ha ma se la ka sa la hi ma se hi ka sule hi ama mo su ka sile ke sule hi ama Masele ke sula hi, masuale ke su, amasahi la hi, amasuhi ele ke suma ha, masule hi ke sule hi, amasala hi ma, masse ke sele ke sema ha, masehi le hi ma, mohi ele ke sema ha, masula hi, masse ke sile hi, masehi la hi ama, masua ke sele hi, asuha masehi ke sele hi ama, masule ke sima ha, masuhi le ke sema ha, masu, mohi ele ke sema ha, masuhi la hi asuhi ya, mahi ya. so hi ama se hi le hi ma mo hi ama se hi ma hi ma si ka su le ke se le hi mo su la ye ke se le hi ma ma se hi ke su le hi ama se hi ke su la mo hi le ke su le hi ma ha ma ha ma se hi la hi ama ha ma se hi a le hi mo lo ko se le ke se le hi ma so hi ke su le hi ama ma ma su ka zi le ke se ma ha ma so hi le ke se ma ha ma lo ki zi la hi ama se hi le ke se ma ha ma so hi ma hi ke su le hi ama ma se ke zila hi ma se hi ma ma hi ke se le ke zi ma ha ma se mo su ke se le hi ya ma se hi ka su la hi ya ma e e ke su le hi ya ma he ke su le hi ya ma mo so le ke se ma ha ma so hi le ke se ma ha ba ma ka si le ke zu la hi ma se hi ma he ke so le hi mo su ha le ke se ma ho ka si la hi ya ma he ke se mo su le ke se ma ha ma su ha ke se ma ha ma se le ke se ma ha ma so le ke su le hi ma se mo su ke zi le ke se ma ha ma su la hi ya la hi ya ka se ma se le ma ho ke se mo so ke se le ke su la ha ma ma se ke se ma ha ma su hi ya la ka se le ke se ma ha ma su hi ma se le ke su la hi ya ma se hi ya la hi ya ma su mo ma ma sa la ka su la hi ya ma su hi e mo ma ka so le hi ya ma ho ya ka se mo so hi e le ke se ma ha ma su ha ma se ma ke zi le ke su la hi ya ma se hi e ka su le hi ya ma 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 su ka zi la hi ya ma se hi ka su le hi ya ma ma su la hi e ma se hi le ke su la hi ya ma ha ma su ma ma se ka zi la ka sa la ke su ma ha ma se ma ma su hi e ka su le hi ya ma so hi la ha mo so ka zi le hi ya ma se hi la ke su ma ha ma se ke ze le hi ma so hi e le ke se ma ha ma se le ke se ma ha ma se ke zu la hi e ke se ma ha mo ma ka sa la hi e ke su le hi ma se hi ma mo mo ke su la hi ma se hi e ke se le hi ya ma 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 se ke zi la hi ma se hi ma ho ke ze le hi mo su ha ke se le hi ya ma se ke zu la hi ma mo hi e ke se le hi ma se hi ma ka su la hi ya ma ma su ka zi la hi e ke se le ke su la hi ya ma so hi ya la hi ya mo ma ke su la hi ma se hi ma se ke se le ke su ma ha ma su ka zi le ke se le ke su ma hi ya la ke se le ke se mo ko so le ke se ma ha ma so le ke se ma ha ma su la ka za li hi ya ke so le hi e ke so le hi ya ma ma su le ke se le ke su ma ha ma se hi la hi ma 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 so hi e ke se mo ke se le ke se le ke su ma ha ma so hi e le ke se ma su ke zi la hi ma se hi la ka sa la hi ma ma so le ke so ma ha ma sa hi le mo se ke si la hi ma su hi ma se hi ma su le ke se le ke su ma ha ma su a ma se hi le hi ma oh ma hi su hi la hi ma eh ma su ke si la hi ma su hi mo su ke se ma ha la ka si la hi ma se le ke se ma ha ma su hi ke se le hi ma ma su la hi ke se le hi ma su hi le ke se ma ha ma ma su ke si le hi ma se hi la hi ma se ke se le ke su la ha ma se hi ma ma se ke se le ma ha ka si la hi ma oh father we we'll break it right now 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 we we'll 
will break it right now. We'll break it right now. My here is to say, my sake is to laugh. My here is to laugh. I saw my here is to say, more so get a little say, Bahama say, like I say, more here I can say, more can say, my sake is say, Bahama say, get a little to laugh. My Sula Casala Casema, my sake is say, my hook is a little to laugh. The lake is say, Bahama say, he a little say, more so he can say, he maha, more so can say, no papa say, like a Sula Yama, my sake is in a casema. I had a lot of feeling how I was feeling. 
hearken unto his voice. Do his will. Do that which he has asked you to do. He said, obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. It is time to know the truth. It is time to hear the truth. The truth is better, but this is the time. I hear say, I want the people who love me because they love me for me. I don't want the people who love me because of what I can give to them. I want the people who love me for me because I deserve their love. Because I deserve their love. Now he has so happy. My here is so here can see the here. I had a lot of this. Keep sounding the alarm. Keep sounding the alarm. Hmm. Mm hmm. I love to tell them, I am God Almighty. There is nothing so hard for me. If I need to say this every day, so you can hear and understand it, I will keep saying it. It will never get old. I will keep saying it. I will keep saying it. I will keep sending people to speak my word to you. I will keep sending people to speak my word to you. Yes, I am a loving father. Yes, I am a loving father. I am very loving. But a time comes when I have to show who I am. I will keep sending people. Make your ways right. Begin to seek for truth. 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 For the truth is right before you. It's plain. Right before you. But you have allowed yourself <clears throat> to be eating from the truth. The truth is not eating from you. You have allowed yourself to be eating from the truth. The truth is right there before you. Plain, open. So why have you allowed yourself to be hidden from the truth? Make your ways right. Do the right thing at all times. Make your ways right. Make your ways right. Repent and forsake your sinful ways. Mm. Mm. 
repent. I hear the Lord say, tell them again, repent. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Repent. If you are about the Lord's business, do the Lord business the way the Lord has commanded you to do it. Don't do the Lord's business your own way. Do not do the Lord's business your own ways. Hey, the Lord say, I am mighty and powerful. Repent. Repent for a shaking is coming. <laughs> a shaking that alarm has been sounding for months now. A shaking is coming. But the Lord will take care of his own, he will protect his own. Repent. So you don't say, had I known. You can dine with the devil and dine with God at the same time. It's not possible. If you're dining with God, you're dining with God. If you're dining with the enemy, you're dining with the enemy. Stop deceiving yourself. There is no two ways. It is one way. One way. Is it that you're going right or you're going left? There is no going both ways. So choose the way you want to go. Which way do you want to go? Nobody can choose that way for you. You have to choose that way by yourself. Which way do you want to go? That is the question. Repent. For the hour is close. And you will say, nobody told me. And you will say, I didn't hear when the alarm was sounding. Mm. Because the truth will be revealed openly. And the lies will be revealed openly. <laughs> Mm. From the top to the bottom, it will be open as an open book for all to see and know that indeed there is a God that sits high and looks low. It will be open. There is no place to hide. It will be open for all to see. It will be open soon, sooner than you think. Hacking unto the voice of the Lord. Repent and make your ways right. Choose whom you will serve today.
Repent. 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 Mm. Repent. 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 For the visit is soon. <laughs> the visit is soon. Repent, my people. Makasuli hima se hia masu hie masu hie kasuli hima muhie se hia masu. Everything that is hidden under the ground will be uprooted up to be made known, to be open for all to see. All eating things will be uprooted out. There is nothing that can be eaten from God. Nothing, absolutely nothing. You cannot hide it from God. You can hide it from man. You can hide it from man, but you cannot hide it from God. God sees it all. And don't say because God is loving. And don't say because God is kind. You will continue to do the things that you do in secret. Because God is going to expose you in the open. It's going to come out of hope. It's going to happen openly. God is going to expose you in a way. And then you begin to cry and begin to blame God. God, why did you do this to me? God, why did you disgrace me like this? God, why did you bring me out to the open? God is saying to you now, repent. Now is the time for you to let go. Now is the time for you to forsake your ways. Now is the time because you're not deceiving him. You can't deceive him. You can't. God, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise. Because you are worthy, oh God. Have mercy upon your people. Have mercy upon me, oh God. Have mercy upon your people, oh God. Have your way, Father. Have your way in our lives. Do as you please, God. Let your will and only your will alone be done in our lives. Let your will and only your will alone be done in this world. Have your way. Do that which you want to do. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God, for answered prayers. Thank you for the wonderful things that you have done, that you are still doing right now, and that you are still about to do. Thank you. We are grateful. We are grateful. Oh, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord, for all you have done for us. Hallelujah. We are grateful, oh Lord. Yes, God. We are grateful, oh Lord. Mm. We are grateful, 
For all you have done for us, hallelujah, we are grateful, oh Lord. In Yeshua's most beautiful and powerful name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, people. We give God all the glory. We bless God for who he is, for what he has done, what he's still doing, what he's about to do. We give him all the glory. We give him all the honor because he is what he is, he is what he is, he is what he is, he is what he is. There is none like him. There is none like our God. Our God is a wonderful God. Our God is a beautiful God. Our God is a faithful God, an awesome God. That is who he is. He cannot change. So, Take advantage of his love for you and begin to chase that time and make your ways right and repent and repent and let go and let him do that thing that you've been trying to do for years. You've been trying to do it for so many years. Yes, you can get it right. God is saying, allow me to do it for you. You know? All right, people, I love you. But God loves you much more. No one can love you like he does. Okay? Remember that. So make your ways right. And begin to chase after this God with everything that you have. That's all I've been asked to tell you. I cannot change it. I cannot. I, I don't come here to please anybody. I come here to please my God. And what my God has said I should say, that is what I will say. Repent. Repent says the Lord. Okay, so keep a date with us. We're going to be here on Wednesday at 3 p.m. See you then. But remain extremely blessed. Okay? Have a great and fruitful week. May the Lord reveal himself to you this week. So you get to know this God for who he really is. And, you know, and begin to chase him with all that you have. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you. Okay. Love you. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>